Aksure. You might know them for their optics. They've lately added tripods and lighting to their lineup of affordable cinema-focused products. We took their 18 to 36 degree projector accessory for a spin in this field review. And if you've never used a projector accessory, sometimes called a spotlight or even a Leco for shorthand, then you've been missing out. Okay, let's jump in. You're watching Cinity, supported by b and and CVP. My name's Graham Ehlers Sheldon, and welcome to this review. Now, I've tried many projector accessories over the years. I've used traditional Leco lights on theater, film, and television projects. Now, projection accessories are incredibly useful, allowing you to throw varying degrees of beams of light far or short distances with incredible precision. You could bounce this type of light for a flattering key, use it as a hard edge light, or light up a specific art object in the background without much trouble. They're incredibly versatile. As I mentioned in the intro, there is more than one name for the humble projector accessory. Ellipsoidal reflector, Leco, Spotlight, and Source 4, brand name, are just a few. For the rest of this video, we're gonna stick with projector. In the past, projectors took a tungsten bulb, usually 500 to 750 watt, and a gel was often required. To this day, you can find relatively affordable projector tungsten fixtures in theaters and event venues worldwide. They're also great starting light for students, but remember to use gloves. Now we live in a world increasingly dominated by LED fixtures, but we still want both the quality and control of the tungsten fixtures we've used for decades. Enter the 1.67 kilogram, 3.7 pound Suray projector lens accessory priced at $429 with a beam angle between 18 and 36 degrees. Making an accessory like this is actually very tricky because it requires lots of carefully placed glass elements. And if the accessory fails to dissipate that heat, watch out user. In fact, the last burn I received on a commercial job was from a projector accessory, thankfully not from Sure. Just because we're moving away from hot tungsten lights doesn't mean you can't get a solid burn from LED lighting. Also a good reminder for me. The fact that this accessory has a variable beam is one of the features that makes it stand out from competitors that mostly rely on fixed beam angles for their projection accessories. As I went into testing for this review, I was optimistic that Sure, again, a company that knows something about lenses and glass and how they interact, would be perfect for making an accessory like this. Not all lighting accessories listed as Bowen mounts compatible can be used with all Bowen's mount fixtures. In the same way that flange distance in lenses can vary in compatibility between different camera systems and lens mounts. Similar principle. With that in mind, Sure claims that this projector accessory will work for Bowen's mount lights under a certain wattage. Now, I'm not sure what to tell you here because Sure's marking material asserts a 300 watt threshold. However, the accessory itself has a 200 watt limit printed directly on the side. Unfortunately, I'm not able to test this accessory with every 200 watt cinema light on the market. So my advice is to take care when purchasing and make sure you test at home before taking it into the field on a paid job, which is good advice for lots of tech these days. For this review, I'll be primarily using the $223 Sure CS200B for my testing, as well as a few aperture, Nanlite, iFootage, and Ameren fixtures. The Sure projector, referred to occasionally as P1836A by the company, ships in an excellent, sturdy, labeled hard case with plenty of foam protection in every direction. I would love it if Sure took this solid packing approach to more of their products. For example, the Sure CS200B bicolor LED monolight ships in a simple cardboard box, which unfortunately you must replace with another sturdier case instantly. Overall, the accessory is smaller than some projectors I've used in this category, and that initially concerned me a bit with the heat handling, but more on that in just a second. Sure includes 15 gobo patterns, three color filters, and a gobo holder inside the core kit. You can also purchase the Sure CS200B plus the projector accessory as part of a package deal, so that may be more worth your time if you are also looking for a suitable light to add to your kit. Okay, it's time to talk about the pesky issue of heat and how to deal with it. 
A hollow aluminum alloy design rings the projection accessory to allow heat to escape passively. Still, the actual attempt at tackling the ever-present heat issue is a separate, primarily plastic, battery-powered fan unit that connects by magnets to the side of the unit. A few things about the detachable fan unit. The battery is charged by a USB-C cable, not included, and it doesn't appear to be weather resistant. You must also remember to turn it on using the separate power button, separate from the light itself, and there is no warning if the battery dies. Noticing that the battery has died and charging the fan is gonna be up to you in the middle of a sometimes busy shoot day. Thankfully, the fan does work with a USB-C cable inserted while charging, so you could keep the fan running without delaying your shoot. Four lights marking quarter increments on the side of the fan indicate if the fan unit is charged or not. Now, early marketing materials for this accessory never mentioned the fan, and thus, I'm assuming this was a later addition as the product came to market. It's not necessarily a bad thing, as having an electronic fan is better than only having a passive cooling option, and the fan unit doesn't add significant noise that could be picked up on the mic. The fan does the job of removing heat, and it's reminiscent of a fan accessory created for various mirrorless camera systems on the market. Now, that's it for the fan. I know it's a big ask, but my hope is we can move to a universal system of electronic communication between lights and accessories so something like this fan unit could be triggered on and off and could be powered from the light itself and not a separate internal battery. Granted, this electronic communication solution isn't a novel idea for me, and we're already seeing electronic contact points being added to lights by competing manufacturers, such as Aerie, Aperture, Nanlux, and others. Hopefully, Sure will consider adding something like that in the future, too. Alrighty, back to the projector accessory at hand. Sure's projection accessory works well, provided you stay within the 200 watt guidelines and use the fan unit, especially in hot environments. Remember, I'm not testing this with every 200 watt light on the market, but in the testing I did, I didn't notice weird aberrations around the edge of the beam, and the cuts of light you can make with the four shutters are very clean. This quality of light is also consistent throughout the entirety of the range from 18 degrees to 36 degrees. Not an easy thing to do. I did see light bleed out of the sides of the accessory, mainly from the heatsink area, but it's minimal. A small knob on top lets you focus or defocus the instrument to explore different looks for the gobos or the light beam. The variety of gobo options are helpful. While all of them might not be useful in every shoot, Gobos like window blinds and different foliage types can be widely used on various projects in my opinion. There's also fun options like bird wings and more abstract shapes. The included color filters are also potentially helpful if you aren't working with color capable LED cob fixtures. As I mentioned, I use the Sure CS200B in conjunction with the projector and this pairing gets hot when the light is at 100% but not uncomfortably so when the fan is on during summer filming in California with no air conditioning. Okay, now for a few final thoughts. The $429 price tag for the Sure projector lens is competitive. It comes with a variety of gobos and its variable beam angle makes it stand out. I'm interested in seeing what the company comes up with next. I'm Graham Ailer Sheldon, thanks for watching this review. Special thanks to Red Studio in San Diego for their help with this review. Go to redstudiosd.com for more info on how to book their beautiful studio space.